When you start to diagnose processes that are happening on your FortiGate, you can use two commands. The first one is diag system. Let's just start it. All right, let's stop it. And there's the diag system summary. What is the difference between the two? Which one is better? And how can you sort processes by CPU or memory? Coming up. Before we begin, let's just try to understand what is a process. Well, you have your app, it sits on the hard drive, on the storage itself, and when it loads into a memory, it actually uses different processes to accomplish its task. Now, a process is key to understanding what is happening on your computer, what is happening on your FortiGate in our case. Now, each process consumes CPU. It consumes CPU and it consumes memory resources. Every operating system has what is known as a user process and a system process. A user process is when a user actually initiates an app or a, uh, a service and the system process are actually processes that are done in the background. Now let's look at the Diag Sysstop. The Diag Sysstop will actually list processes individually. It would list all processes. It will show up the process ID, the memory that is being consumed, the CPU. The Diag Sysstop summary actually aggregates all the processes. As you can see here, to the right of each process, you can actually see the amount of processes that the operating system actually divided the process itself to several processes. And that is the case where your operating system makes multiple copies of a process in order to subdivide the load itself or to handle similar tasks. All right, so now let's try to sort our processes in a descending order and see who is consuming more memory. So let's just stop it. Let's use the Diag Sysstop summary. All right, let's show only five lines. Use the um, sort command equals mem, that is memory. And now we can actually see processes uh, in a descending order that only shows the most consuming processes in terms of memory. Now, here you can see that this is the process that is currently running. Here you can actually see how many processes, that is user processes and system processes are actually running. And here you can see to the right, the amount of sub processes, that is the same process, but this could be the parent process and the child processes that are running that are actually running. So here we can see that we actually have uh, 11 HTTPS processes that are running. All right, so to compare and recap, the Diag Sysstop summary is different since it aggregates just about every child process and parent process into one process and shows you the total CPU and memory consumption. The Diag Sysstop actually shows each process, so it is better to examine the memory utilization or the CPU utilization, but the Diag Sysstop summary is better in my opinion if you need to adjust specific processes, specific applications, if you see that uh, there is one process that is actually consuming your memory or your CPU utilization.